Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Obese to Fit with Parkinson's. My name is Ryan Leniger, and today we're starting episode four of, I think I'm just going to do five, maybe six episodes, but um, this is part of my spring cleaning series that I'm doing, and the spring cleaning isn't necessarily stuff that is that I need to do inside. I also want to do some things outside, and one of the things I've neglected to do has been window treatment or windows washing the windows so what i want to do is just spend maybe 45 minutes to an hour and give all my windows a good clean um, the main point for me is to keep moving um, i've been inside for maybe an hour or so and i know my notice my tremors a lot more when i'm idle so i want to get up and start doing some movement and this is uh, one of the projects I wanted to get done. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning my windows and, I, and I'll show you the progress. So one of the other things I want to mention too also was I'm going to go back through and do inside the house as well, but um, for the purposes of time, this video is just going to be outdoors. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven windows I'm doing. Some are bigger than others, some are small. So anyway, that's just my game plan. And Didn't mean to drop it, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean the screens too, and uh, yeah. One of the other projects I'm going to be doing too, it may, I might do a video or not, um, I pressure wash the siding every year and uh, it usually takes a day to do, but down here in the south we have a ton of pollen. It starts pretty early, usually end of February, early March, and it really creates an algae type fungus on the house if you don't keep up with it. So I'll, I'll do that eventually. but. Um, Right now, my main focus is just windows. One of my big projects last year was, uh, so we repainted all, all the doors. One door I didn't do, it was outside by our shed, but um, all the indoor inside doors, the out, outdoor here, it was a beige color and with a beige or a brown trim. And so I took all the doors off the hinges. It took about a week to do, but um, you gotta remove all the hardware and then I've just propped three doors up along the fence and um, painted them, uh, did a couple coats on each side, then wait for it to dry and then I'd flip it. So it is, it is about a week to do. Um, we had 15 doors maybe to do. Um, that's including like linen closets and stuff, but um, it was a good project. I learned a lot. Um, at that time, I wasn't doing a YouTube channel, so I didn't video any of it, but um, this is, uh, so the, the door was probably almost, uh, is a little darker than the siding here. If you can see the siding, it's kind of a beigeish yellow color or cream color, but um, so the door is, we did, went with this blue color and the white trim, so I like how it turned out. I'm 
one other thing I did too was I have a, um, a little mini fridge outside here that's plugged into the outlet right over here. And so I've just made sure I unplug that. I didn't want to get shocked or anything. Probably wouldn't anyways. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dry these and I'll be right back. I really like how they turned out, uh, man, pretty clean. Um, so the soap I used is a little unconventional. It's, um, well, this is it, wash and wax. And I use it for my car, but um, anyway, it looks good. Uh, I figured if uh, it came out good on the paint on my car, it should come out okay on my windows, I guess. I don't know, but. Uh, it's something I had and it, yeah, it looks like new windows, so I'm excited. I don't know if the video shows it or not, but um, you can really see the dirt come off as a, after I wash and rinse the window. And that's just after years of neglect and that's on me. But um, anyway, it feels good to do it. It's probably 80, 82 or 83 degrees out right now. And it's uh, fairly early March. This will probably come out towards the end of March, but um, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful day out and uh, the windows are really coming along good. The, I don't know, there might be a little bit of a glare, but once I do the insides, uh, it's gonna look crystal clear. And yeah, it'll look like brand new windows when I'm done. So here's our front door that I painted last year over here. And then also um, this we've had since we got married, probably uh, it's at least 10 years old for sure. And then this chair we got as a gift about seven or eight years ago. And I just uh, painted it and um, I thought it came out cool. It matches uh, the doors. It's the same color. And um, anyway, uh, it took a couple hours to do a couple coats of paint. But um, I see some weeds here that I'm going to be weeding. That's another project. But it's just, it's a beautiful day. It's just an opportunity to be outside. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get the hose in my bucket and we'll get going on these windows. And I'm also gonna do the door window too, that needs it, so yeah.
There's a little gecko I tried to catch for the camera, but I uh, missed it. I'm definitely too slow for that thing. So down here in the south, we have fire ants. So you just got to be mindful of where we're stepping. So sometimes they got big, uh, there's some ant piles in the um, mulch. So you just got to be mindful of that. And um, I, I thought I heard that little lizard. They make a little bit of noise. If they're under the siding or on the siding, you kind of hear them a little bit. Sometimes they'll scratch. But um All right, now we're on the last two windows I'm gonna be doing today. Um, right now, it's taking maybe 25 or 30 minutes. I got about another 10 minutes to go here. Um, one other project I did while I was painting the doors and inside our, our house a little bit, um, I did the shutters as well. They were uh, like a dark color, a dark brown or a black. I don't remember, I think it was black. But um, it's the same trim as our door, or it's the same color as our door um, and one of our bedroom walls. And I thought it came out pretty good. It definitely stands out when you come up to the house. And so, anyway, I'm, I'll go ahead and start uh, washing windows. One other thing I'm gonna to do too this uh, spring in the next few days, probably, or the next week for sure. 
I can't really see the phone because the sun's bright. He might be able to, but um, there's just a lot of grass in the um, mulch. So I'm going to pull that and then I'm going to remulch it. Probably won't do a video on it, but it's just one of those things that needs to be done. Been neglected and I'm going to finish up these last two windows. Yeah, you can see it. So. All right, so that concludes the video. Uh, I'm going to put my screens back on and then I'm going to clean up my uh, mess that I made. Once I wash the inside part of the windows, it's really going to look nice, uh, clean, stand out, and uh, probably look like new windows. I, I probably won't use, maybe I will use this uh, wash and wax stuff that I have, but I thought it came out good. Uh, I'll really be able to see the results when I do the inside windows, but um, I'm going to go ahead and get cleaned up, and I will talk to you guys later. I really appreciate you watching. probably have one or two more episodes on the spring cleaning series. I have a few ideas, but um, so anyway, I'm very grateful, and thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.